Amir Thompson, the musician and filmmaker better known as Questlove, discovered five years ago on a PBS show called Finding Your Roots that his direct ancestors, Charles and Maggie Lewis, were part of the last known group of enslaved Africans brought to the U.S. more than 50 years after the international slave trade was officially banned. I think in any other situation, I would gladly say my name is Questlove, but I think tonight, really proud to just be Amir Thompson, a descendant of, of Charlie Lewis and Maggie Lewis. Today, Amir is an executive producer on the new Netflix documentary, Descendant, which tells the history of the Clotilda survivors and the future their descendants face in the small town they founded, Africatown, Alabama. I'm Vita Tunstall, and just like Amir, my ancestors were brought to the U.S. on the Clotilda. I had the pleasure of meeting Amir, his mother and his sister at my mother's cookout, where Amir was able to connect with his long lost relatives for the very first time. Meeting him made me wonder why some of us grew up hearing about our ancestors and others like him are just finding out. The thing that hit me after seeing the film was the importance of interviewing or just talking to any and everybody in our family for their story, their collective story. Mm -hmm. There's a billion stories that my father told me when he was alive that I'm now slowly forgetting. You have a conversation with, an, and I don't want to say an elder or an ancestor, because there's young people that have history as well, but just sit and talk to them, preserve the history, because I think for a lot of black people, if you're living in the present, it's hard to think that the journey you're on is going to be significant or of use to anyone, you know, but now, I have this burning need to just document every story. Huh. For me, I came up in a generation that if you would ask, you didn't get an answer. <laughs> or it was like, you know, go somewhere and sit and be quiet and be nice and fold your hands. The people start talking should tell their family or kids or whoever that's in their family. Like, that history is so important. That's where hip-hop comes into play, because I think before the hip-hop generation, hip-hop is what gave young people a voice. Because basically, before that, you would just only speak when spoken to, mm -hmm. don't bring any attention to yourself. Because we lived in a time period in which if you stood out, or, you know, I'm sure that the post Emmett Till effect of bringing any attention to yourself could be a sign of danger if a parent's not around. And I just think kids weren't ever taught to ask questions or right. talk back or say why. Or... I think to um, piggyback on what my, my brother and mother just said, you know, of course the film is so deeply personal to us because it, it is our family, we are descendants. Black people for so long have needed to feel grounded. And my hope is that this film, you know, we've, and I've actually seen it, have an effect on people that are not descendants mm -hmm. because it, it offers such a sense of hope and it, it offers a sense of place. I think it offers a lifeline and connection and history. All of us, we can't really know where we're going. You know, we all know this until we know where we, we've come from. I love to be around grandmama. I just, I learned so much and I heard so much. I learned that black people and white people don't eat together. And grandmama said, that's just the way it is, baby. One day you'll understand it by and by. That day I grew up a whole lot. Mm -hmm. And so y'all learned something from me today. We, we can sit at the table now, but we couldn't then, so. I thought I would share that with you all. Yeah, thank you. Glad you have your seat at the table. Thank you. Thank you. Not only did my parents go this, but go through this, but almost every other black person in America did. My grandma, I got a grandma on my mama's side, your age. So I was supposed to be raised by somebody that was younger. So I'm proud to say I had an older person raising me that taught me, listen to what they saying, mm -hmm. hear everything out. Hearing stories straight out the mouth, it's better than reading it in a book to me. Mm -hmm. like, it's better if I hear it straight out the mouth, I, I, it's like I'm connected to it. That's why I always sit down and stab you in your face. And just, <laughs> that, that's why I do that. So mm -hmm. I, I was one of them kids, I, 
I was the one they say, hey, go outside and play. I'll go on the porch and just keep my, my ear on the door. Like, I, I know what they talking about it now, so. Hearing it out your mouth, mm -hmm. I know you survived it. Yeah. And by you surviving it, I know I can. Mm -hmm. Like, that's, that's how we look at it. Yeah. I know this is a hard question to ask, but like, is there anyone directly in Africa Town that you guys trust to sort of get a seat at the table? The one lesson I had to learn in life, I was definitely one of those people, and this is from an artistic standpoint, not, not anywhere near politics, but I was the king of, man, someone need to da 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 da. <laughs> and I would always be, someone need to da 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 da, someone need to da 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 da. And then, like, I'm in the hot seat. And I know how reluctant I was to leave my comfort zone. You know, if it has to do with music, I'm your guy. Right. But if you're asking me, like, uh, be a food activist, uh, I don't like giving speeches or direction. Uh, I didn't go to film school. I'm kind of just walking blind and learning as I go. Like, no degree, no nothing. Hey, I tell you what, this man lived it. Go ahead, Emmett. Mm -mm, I'm listening. No, 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 go ahead. <laughs> we need to talk. We need to hear. Jeff, my one question, like, do anybody know how, to, know how it feels to be out there every single day? Do anybody know how it feels to wake up, walk out the door, and you're in Plateau? You're in Africa Town. It's, it's not like I'm getting in the car driving over there. Like, I'm there. Absolutely. I've been there my whole life. The people that's holding the positions, the people that's our elders that's supposed to be leading us, they scared to pass the title to us. Mm -hmm. My whole life, I was taught that the purpose of leadership was to find somebody else to fill that position once you're done. Mm -hmm. Being a leader doesn't mean that I can tell somebody what to do and how to do it. It means I'm going to show them that I can do it. And hopefully once I'm, once I'm to the point where I can't do it no more, they can pick up right where I left off. We still have certain groups of elders, certain people that will look at even me and be like, well, he young, he got tattoos, he got dreads. And it's like, man, how you, st how, how you stereotype us? Mm -hmm. Like for so many years, y'all fought for let me wear my Afro. Mm -hmm. But now when I do it, it's like he ain't acting like black people supposed to act. Do you know how it feels for somebody in my community to stop me and tell me, hey, why do you, you, you speak good, you talk good, but why do you have them things on your head? Mm -hmm. And I'm sitting here telling them like, do you not know this is your tradition? Yeah. Like this is yours. We have to understand too that we need our elders to back us too, just like y'all want us to back y'all. My time is really passing. It's time for me to pass the torch. When you were talking, I thought, well, you're the person you can do that. You ought to be the mayor. Yeah. You ought to be running for city council. Yeah. We're working on it. Yeah, I'm serious. He has, he has a tremendous, he has a tremendous passion for preservation. He does. You know, Everything that has been said today has been the catalyst to put him in position to run for office. He's got to know that somebody's got his back. This has been an amazing conversation. I hope it really leads to something big and we are still boots on the ground down here. But with that, I think it's time to go see the Mobile premiere of Descendant on the big screen down at the Sanger Theater. It is an honor for me to be able to sit among you all here this evening and to amplify your story and your histories. Emmett, I want you to remember this moment. I know that feeling when you're on the precipice of knowing what your true calling is. And you know, yeah. this, this is me as, I'm a very reluctant leader. I mean, I've been leading for 30 years and I'm still a reluctant leader. But this has been like, for me at least, the, the last two years of just stepping out on faith and living in my truth. And I see that a lot, even as you just spoke, you're a natural born leader. A lot of people ask about the story. A lot of people think they want to hear the story, but I mean, to understand this story, if you still watch this movie and didn't catch the concept of it, this is our version of Roots. This is our roots. This is what happened to us. You know, all of us have grown up with this story. We've known about it. We celebrated it and, you know, we just kept pushing until, you know, you keep pushing until you can't push anymore, so. This is a wise, powerful young man. I agree with Amir and I look forward to great things for, for him, for Joycelyn, for all of us. But the main thing is that 
I just hope this film is a catalyst for change, yeah, yeah. that there is a lot to be done right now. Like, like Emmett said, don't leave here and go home and just think it's all over and you've been entertained. There's a lot to do. I want you, especially you two, to absorb this moment and realize that this is your pivot. And, you know, I fully expect to be voting you guys for presidency. That's how much I believe in you. With this new documentary, Descendant, opening the world's eyes to the story of Africatown and empowering the descendants to own our identity, the time is right to join us in taking action. I can't wait to see what the future holds. <laughs>